Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project's an art journal page and I'm working in my Prima mixed media book. I've added a layer of gesso to my page before applying the initial layers onto my background. The paint I'm using here is Paper Artsy Fresco Finish Paint in the colour Chalk and Distress Paint in the colour Cracked Pistachio. Once I've done this, I start to add some stamping. I've chosen a stamp by Impression Obsession called Beauty Text and I stamp this using Archival Ink in Blue Violet. Next I'm taking some stamps by Personal Impressions. From these sets I've chosen the Little Bird Houses and I'm stamping these using VersaFine Ink in Onyx Black onto a piece of patterned paper by Prima. Next I want to add a tree to my page for the little birdhouses to hang from. So for this I've chosen a stencil by Crafters Workshop and I'm adding some Liquitex light modelling paste through this to create some texture as well. Once this has dried I cut out my little birdhouses and attach them to my page using some matte medium. Now I'm taking an ink tense pencil in the colour violet, I'm using this to add some colour to the birdhouses and then I activate it with some water from a Prima water brush and once I've done that I then draw some lines from the branches to the birdhouses to attach them to the tree. Now I want to add some small blossoms to my tree, so for this I've selected a Paper Artsy paint in the colour Sherbet and I'm using this with a ball tool or embossing tool to make some little dip dots and then I also add a centre once these are dried again in a Paper Artsy paint using the same method but this time I use a darker pink and the colour is Rose.
This is some lightweight cardstock that I've painted with the two shades of pink that I used for the blossoms in the tree. Now I'm stamping some birds onto this. These birds are from the same stamp sets as the little bird houses. I'm using archival ink in jet black to stamp with and then I cut these out and attach them to my page. This is a wink of Stella pen in clear and I'm using this to add some sparkle to the blossoms and also the bird's wings. After this I then take the ink tense pencil that I've been using throughout, add a border to my quote and one all the way around the page. That is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, I appreciate it when you hit the like button. If you'd like a full product list, you'll find that in the video description and you'll also find there links to my social media that include my Facebook Mixed Media Challenge group.